Hello you beautiful souls, welcome here. Today's reading is called Can you trust this person? Um, I know many of you have asked me to do a future spouse reading and I have done this reading last Friday but halfway through I completely forgot all English <laughs> so I couldn't push through and finish it but it was such a beautiful reading and um, just for those of you who wanted to watch my future spouse reading, just know that you have some amazing, incredible spouses, husbands and wives out there. I, I promise I will do this reading for you again. I will deliver it, I will post it. I just need to let go of this topic for a while, for a little bit, get some, refresh my mind. So yes, today's reading is about your person and whether they're trustworthy or not. I've got three parts of cards for you to choose from. I will insert the picture in a moment. Please take your time. Listen to your intuition. You can say the name of your person out loud or in your mind to connect to them. And then choose a part that resonates with you the most. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Hi everyone who chose pile number one or little lazarid stone. Let's see, can you trust your person or not? We are opening the reading with the well. Doctor. Ace of Pentacles. Condensation. The Tower. And waiting. I apologize for the drilling. It happens very often that when I'm recording, my neighbors decide to drill. That same moment I start. <laughs> okay, your person, are they trustworthy? Initially, I see that this connection felt very unusual for both of you, very ethereal, very spiritual, there, there was this telepathic bond between the two of you, you just felt each other, you just, you could communicate without words, with this energy of the well, I feel as though this person was a source of healing for you, healing for your soul, healing for your mind, your emotions, especially with this doctor, um, codifying energy, uh, very healing, presence that this person has in your life, a very healing effect. And uh, it could be that there were some circumstances that were separating the two of you, it could be distance, it could be um, anything, maybe you were studying and this person was working, there was something that was keeping you apart, but you were very drawn to each other still. To me it feels almost like you felt each other's energy, each other's emotions more than you could read each other's, um, like, the things the other person was saying. Logical things, verbal things. Maybe your touch, the way this person touched you felt very genuine, very authentic, the way they looked at you, their energy felt very good. But maybe the things they were saying to you, that's why you're watching this video, felt like some things don't match and maybe this person doesn't do what they promise and maybe you don't really trust that what they're showing you is their authentic self. Maybe they're wearing a mask because we've got the tower at the end, we'll get to this. But still, I feel like your intuition was very much on point when you felt like this person was uh, had huge impact on your energy because they are very healing to you, whatever they do. The way they were taking care of you, the way they were comforting you, supporting you. All of this was true. It was. And, uh, you know, your intuition was, I don't know, maybe heightened very much with this person. You felt them through distance, maybe you knew when they were thinking of you, and vice versa, they also felt, felt the same way. This well energy is very, very telepathic to me. It's all of the divination stuff, it's um, spiritual bonds, chords, you're very connected here. Maybe this is also could be a past life connection. But what your intuition were telling you in the beginning, it was all true. 
because you were feeling them. I feel like you were trying to go blindfolded in this connection. You were trying to fill out the situation with your eyes closed, more with your energy, more with your intuition, rather than looking at facts, looking at what's going on, uh, lo lo listening to what this person was saying to you. Almost like you were in your body with them. And that was the best strategy you could choose with this person. What's happening now? A lot of talking. I feel like this person is trying to explain something to you. They want a new beginning with you. They want a new chance here uh, with this Ace of Pentacles. Uh, they want a fresh opportunity, a fresh uh, chapter with you here. They are intensively, intensively, intensely, intensively. They're communi communicating something to you. I'm seeing them wanting to have their point across to you. They want you to understand something. And whatever they're saying at the moment, this is uh, a complete truth. Because the Ace of Pentacles, it's all about stability. It's all about groundedness. It's all about the, the real deal, the truth. So whatever this person is bringing to you at the moment, it is the truth. If they're ap apologizing, if they are asking you to forgive them, if they are maybe confessing their love to you, asking you to move to another level of um, relationship with them, maybe like move in together, get married, whatever it is. They are 100% completely, totally honest with you. And if they're saying something negative as well, like they're not, not ready for this connection, if um, your person is being rude to you, that's also 100% honesty. So watch out for whatever it is that's coming your way from them, what communication is coming towards you from your person, because this is very much true. With the Ace of Pentacles, it's like um, they're bringing you the reality on their hand, like this is what I think, this is what I feel, this is what I want, take it or leave it. So now you, sh you can trust them. What's happening in the future? This is so interesting because I see you waiting and waiting and waiting for the mask to fall off this person for something to change for something to break for the circumstances to shift for the old structure to get destroyed because we've got this tower and waiting you are maybe unconsciously maybe consciously are waiting for this tower moment you are waiting for them to show you their real face for show you for them to to show you their true intentions maybe to destroy all of it or maybe to shock you in some way but this is mostly i don't see it happening necessarily i don't see it happening because i see this waiting anticipation this is the energy of anticipation maybe you feel like it's going to be easy if this person comes out and says yeah i lied to you about that yeah you don't really mean anything to me but I don't feel like it's going to happen because what they're showing you now is the truth. What's happening now. You shouldn't wait for, for things to get worse. I don't think anything will get destroyed here. No mask will fall off. It's all in the past because mm -mm. currently this person is very focused on you. You are so valuable to them. You are... Mm, you are their future, I want to say, even. They want to communicate that to you. But I see that you are waiting for this breakdown. You are waiting for them to shock you. For the spontaneous split. I can't even... Yeah, let's clarify. Let's get one more card to this question. Are they going to show you that? Are they going to shock you with something unexpected? Are they lying to you, pile one? I don't feel that. Is there going to be a tower moment in the future? You see, I feel like someone is ready to leave in this connection, but there is still this chance to be, to start again. Double indication of the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and here. Almost like this chance was given again, like they asked you to, to stay in their life or maybe to start over 
or to improve this connection, but you are heading in, in another direction here for some reason, Eight of Cups. You are almost ready, you opened your horizons, you're just looking out in the distance thinking of what other opportunities are there for me. You, are, you set your boundaries already, you're protecting your energy, you're not, not going to let them close anymore, this person, that's what's happening here. But if you feel like you want to come back, if you feel like this person, if you want to give them a second chance, if you still want to be with them, that chance is there, that, that opportunity is still there, they still treasure you, they still treasure your energy here with this double ace of pentacles. I feel like now, now th there's a lot of energy of new beginning for the both of you. Let's look at your oracle cards. What do we have here? Oh, yes. You see, this is a deeply spiritual connection. I feel like you are more connected in 5D rather than 3D. Maybe you're even at a distance. Maybe you are um, separated somehow because you are constantly with the sixth chakra Archangel Metatron, third eye chakra. You are constantly talking spiritually, you are talking to each other with energy, you are sending each other messages, um, pictures, images, uh, feelings. You feel each other, regardless of what happened. You still feel each other, that's undoubtable. Undoubt. You can doubt it. And I see this person getting a wake-up call about you. I see that the fact that you don't trust them, that they are about to lose you, that they may be, that they blew their chance with you, there is a lot of sadness here, a lot of heartbreak that they're experiencing because they never wanted to lose you. It's a big loss for them. They feel lonely and sad and like they're in the dark place. And they want this with you, they want future with you, they want stability with you. And um, yeah. Without you, nothing is joyful, nothing is making them happy. And this is like a huge emotional hit on them, especially recently with this card tsunami and wake up call. They have realized how important you are to them. Only when you started to look away, only when you started to doubt them and their, their reliability and whether you should wait for them to show you their, their true, true intentions, true face. Now it's like a wake-up call for them. What did I do? I had such an amazing um, opportunity for me, such an amazing person by my side. Um, let's get messages from your person now. What would they say to you at the moment, pile one? I feel like they need a... They need to speak now. <laughs> they want to. What would they say to you at the moment, pile one? What would your person say to you? so attracted to you. They still feel you. They still miss you. I'm starting to understand our connection. Yes, only now. I remember every detail of that day. Now let's get a few messages about this connection. What should you know about it? What, what is the truth of it? Pile one. We've got this card, Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. Yes, just empty your head, empty your mind from the situation and you'll see things more clearly. You'll be able to decide, I feel like. That's what you need, to be able to decide. But I think all is in your hands. All control and the future of this connection is, your, is in your hands. I know that's the huge responsibility, but the choice is yours. That's what I'm trying to say. If you want this, the offer is there. They're still here for you, they still want you. Life without you doesn't seem warm and comfortable for them. But if you feel like it's just a matter of time when they will, all of it will crumble down and you feel like it's time to go, it's time to leave all of the emotions and all of the energy you've invested in this and you're ready, then it's your, it's your call. 
we've got <laughs> it's interesting this is like a, an answer to this whole spread this guide trust it is safe to trust in this situation i feel like uh, trust yourself and in regards to this person i don't see them lying to you at the moment and i don't feel like they will anytime soon it's just the, the dynamic of this connection is hard to adjust it's uh, too intense for you especially they trigger you in some way. They do. Oh yes, another confirmation. We've got this kind of vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. Yeah, trust and open. Yeah, very interesting, Pile 1. I hope this reading helped you. I hope it gave you a little bit more clarity. And I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love. For yourself and for others and i will see you in my next video bye bye hi everyone of just pile number two or moonstone let's see whether you can trust your person or not we are opening the reading with the eight of wands service the moon Cheerfulness, Queen of Pentacles, and Priest. Mm hmm. Pile two. Oh, eight of Wands and Service. I feel like initially everything was really, really good. There was a lot of love, there was a lot of attention, a lot of love bombing even, a lot of passion with the state of wands. This is a very fast energy, very spontaneous, very fiery, passionate. This person did a lot for you. Maybe there was a lot of compliments, a lot of gifts, a lot of romance, dates, and uh, you felt like you were overwhelmed with their energy, with their attention and love and affection. But what's happening currently, things seem kind of um, confusing for you with this moon energy. It's always like... Almost I'm getting this feeling of this feels superficial. You want to go deeper with this person. You want to know them more. You want to know their fears. You want to know their struggles, blockages worries and um, pain but everything they give you everything that you experience together is kind of superficial it's all happy maybe it's all kind of um, on the surface they don't give you they don't show you the deeper parts of them the psychological issues that they have the they don't show you much emotions that's what i'm feeling yes they're very fiery very overwhelming, affectionate, loving, they do a lot for you, but on an emotional level, I feel like there is this confusion. Who are you truly? I'm drawn to this wolves on two sides of the, like the shores, the white wolf and the black wolf. And I feel like it's difficult for you to figure out who is this person deep inside. Are they healthy? Are they not? Or are they distracting themselves with their everyday fun, maybe with parties, or like um, seeing their friends and spending all their time buried in other people's problems or in other people's happiness, whatever it is. Are they afraid to go deeper? That's your question here, because I feel like you are a very deep person. You are some incredibly spiritual, deep. Uh, you like to, to go inside, you like to do retrospection, you like to think about deeper issues too. Um, you're almost like a detective, you have this detective mind. I feel like what you need from this person is like uh, the raw, raw feelings for them to show their weaknesses to you. And you don't see that necessarily. They show you their like the face that they uh, put on when they are in society, the charming face maybe, the face of uh, the soul of the party.
But who are they inside when they're alone by themselves? That's what you don't really get to see. Or that's you, you don't have access to that. And that's why it's hard for you to trust them, probably. But the thing is, I don't see any bad cards here. I don't see that this person is lying to you or that they have bad intentions. Because, you know, this person sees you very highly. They respect you a lot. They, um, there is a lot of admiration. You are such a stable, grounded, abundant figure in their life. And they are striving to be more like you. And the advice for you here would be with the Queen of Pentacles and Priest to hold on to your values, to hold on to your boundaries, to, to make sure that you voice your needs and you voice your, the things that are sacred to you, the things that are important to you. So this person has some, um, what, what's the word, like, some guidance to how to approach you. But I feel like they respect you very much and they would never do anything intentionally to hurt you, to make you suffer. And, uh, and I think now you're doing the right thing by, um, by staying in your power, by showing that person, what, showing their, your worth to them, showing uh, what it is that's sacred to you, what's important, maybe it's your religion, maybe it's your values in life, maybe it's spirituality, maybe it's just the way you treat other people, how deep you are, how kind you are, how loving and helpful you are, your compassion and uh, loyalty. Loyalty is so important here. That's what you're showing to them. And I feel like it's the best strategy because they're going to catch up. They're watching you, they're admiring you, and they're kind of shifting. This person is shifting. They're not going to stay on the superficial level. They're not going to be looking for fun, for like celebrations, um, good times only. They're developing with you because they're trying to catch up with you. And if you ever worried if you should trust them or not, I don't feel like this person is malicious. Let's look at your oracle cards to get some clarifications. Yeah, I don't feel like they're malicious. They are very proud of you and they want you to be happy. They want you to be successful, abundant. Something is happening in your life currently that they are very proud of, that they are just like rooting for you. They are your best cheerleader. Maybe your business is growing. Maybe whatever you, you found your hobby or the things that nourish your soul. And this person is very happy for you here. And in all on honesty, they have some big... Mm, plans for you, big intentions, like a uh, stronger commitment with you here, with this priest and queen of pentacles. Queen of pentacles for me in traditional tarot, she always represents a figure like a spouse, a wife or husband, whoever, regardless of your gender. It would be like a committed partnership. That's what they see you as. That's what they want with you. Regardless of the hiccups that are happening currently, that maybe this person is not opening up to you and you are struggling to trust them, their intentions for you are very, very good. Because, yes, we've got this card, Cornucopia. You are such an abundant um, person in their life, em abundant emotionally, um, in energy, in your pureness, pureness, purity, and... Uh, in your kindness and compassion and uh, with you life is really good. I feel like what's annoying for you here is that this person is very... Uh, what is the word? They're like a celebration, like a walking celebration. They're very happy, maybe they're singing a lot, maybe li they like to gather their friends around and sing and dance and you are much more deep, you just want something substantial from them. But this is exactly the way you make them feel. They want to celebrate life, they want to be happy, they want to enjoy it. You make them feel abundant and rich and wealthy in emotions and love. And that's why sometimes they get carried away, they get too excited and... Uh, they, do, they don't go deeper, they don't consider like the painful side of life as much. 
Yeah, you are like a wish come true for them. Yeah, they wished for someone like you to be with them, for someone like you to choose them with this fulfillment of wishes card. I feel like it's completely unexpected and mind-blowing for them that you are in their life and you are sharing your beautiful energy with them. They are deeply, deeply grateful for this, for this combination, cornucopia and fulfillment of wishes. They are so grateful for you and everything you bring to them. I don't think, uh, especially if you thought that they are taking you for granted or maybe they have their attention elsewhere, this is like a completely opposite energy because there is so much gratitude, there is so much love and appreciation for what you bring to them, the way you make them feel, how loved you make them feel. And also we've got this card forest or breath. I feel like sometimes, sometimes you both need um, uh, to be to be alone, to be in um, nature, maybe to to get some fresh air, to recharge, to not be too um, active together. That's what I'm getting from this Eight of Wands, the Moon, and cheerfulness. Sometimes you need to get to separate, to cleanse your energy, and then come back together. Things will get easier. Easier. You need a breather from each other at times. That's when things flow easier, more naturally, and uh, there is no confusion. Because you affect each other so much. Very intense connection here. Let's get a few messages from your person. What would they say to you? Pile two. What would they want you to know at the moment? I look for you everywhere. Yes, especially if you had doubts that this person is not faithful or they are entertaining some other people. No, their eyes are on the price, which is you, definitely, with this Queen of Pentacles here. Uh-huh, I know that I crossed the line with you. That could be the uh, way of leaving. I don't know, this is a general reading, it could be anything really. Maybe your person, for some of you, they indulge in alcohol, they're drinking too much, or maybe they are the party animal, or maybe they are with this cheerfulness and uh, maybe they're too much with too involved with their friends and they don't give you enough time and attention but something has happened that hurt you and this person uh, is acknowledging it they they know that it was their fault they didn't want to hurt you i wish i could share my good news with you you're very important for them they want you to be involved in their life. They want you to be there, to, to, to be a part of the happy moments, the sad moments. Let's get a few messages about this connection. What should you know about it? What is the truth of this connection for pile two? This message always makes me laugh because it's so specific. Put away the computer. Working less and having more fun will help strengthen your relationship. The, it's interesting because it makes uh, complete, really, really makes sense. Because the energy of your person is very lighthearted. Maybe they're an artist or maybe they're a creative person. Maybe they, they're like a traveler for, they travel for work. They do something unusual and like you wouldn't consider that work even. And you are someone who is incredibly hard working, you just go to your 9 to 5 job, you are struggling, you, you just uh, trying to survive, trying to pay your bills, and your person is, I don't know, making jewelry, even if it's a man. And for you it's like, I don't understand you. <laughs> like, y y you live your life differently, that's, that's the, um, almost like a competition here, and confusion here, and that's where trust is kind of... Uh, limping that's where maybe you struggle to trust this person and their intentions but i feel like it's you who need to relax a little bit more this is the message and advice from the cards from the spirit for you to to relax more to have more fun maybe to give in 
to this person's influence a little bit more and see what it is they're trying to show you. Mm -hmm. Interesting, we've got this card warning. Don't dismiss the red flags here. And I think this is what you're doing exactly. You are always very conscious. I feel like you're even pointing out things to this person that you don't like, that you don't consider maybe moral with this priest and queen of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there is this balance that you're trying to bring to each other's life. This person is kind of trying to loosen you up. Loose, loosen you up? I don't know if that's an expression. And you are trying to get them together to organize your person. And that's why you're balancing each other's lives in this strange way. And then we've got patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Mm, exactly. I feel like the main message here is for you to be patient with them. Patient with each other. And not make rash decisions. Not, uh, yeah, not destroy this just because of your differences. So, yeah, this is all I had for you, pal, too. I hope this helped you. I hope this gave you clarity. And I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hi everyone who chose pal number three or little Labradorite triangle. Um, let's see whether you should trust your person or not. Can you trust them? We are opening the reading with the Wheel of Fortune. Wife. Seven of Wands. <coughs> Wedding. <laughs> okay. Wow. This is some assertive man or woman you're dealing with. The Moon. And Sweetheart. Okay, things are falling down. Wow, this is a very strong energy. I'm not surprised that everything is falling down because the Wheel of Fortune, the Moon, Wife, Wedding. As soon as this person entered your life, they're like a hurricane. They completely swept you off of your feet and they said, Okay, we are getting married. <laughs> or maybe it's just... Uh, Everything has uh, kind of started shifting and changing and this um, encounter, this uh, connection starting, started very fast, things moved very fast and maybe you just, you moved in together after a week of knowing each other, you start, started talking about getting married uh, two months later and maybe you had a child uh, like six months later, not all of you of course, but I feel like this person was very certain, very focused on you and uh, they just shocked you with how fast they changed your life, how fast they settled on you, how fast they have decided that this is it, this is what I want, this is the connection I want. You are my future spouse, <laughs> you are my, um, you are the one, I want you, where do you think you are going? And this is the energy I'm getting from your person. And of course, this could be hard to trust sometimes if things were slower in your past connections, if you're not, if you're someone more earthly. If you're a water sign, I can understand that you completely fell in love and went for it with them. But if, you, if you're someone more stable and cautious, this could kind of make you suspicious. But the thing is, this person is fighting for this idea. This person is not letting go. Even if you set your boundaries, even if you like s said, okay, let's slow down, let's not um, make crazy rush decisions at the moment. Like get married today, have children tomorrow. Let's date for a while, let's get to know each other. This person is very sad on protecting their vision, on protecting the future with you, with this wedding card. They want it. They want you, and uh, whatever fights they have to go through, whatever struggles, whatever opposition they meet, like in the face of you and your reluctance, they're not giving up. Who is this? Who are you dealing with, Pile 3? I just want to ask. 
what's the sign maybe write down in the comment down below i'm just uh, in, in the comment section i'm just so shocked that uh, their personality this is like um, my way or the highway person i still see them uh, trying to prove to you that you are set that you are together for the rest of your life that this is gonna work out and you shouldn't worry and everything is going to be good and they're going to be <coughs> protecting this connection protecting whatever you've got regardless of what's happening maybe you you are still in your in another connection or maybe they are still in another connection against all odds against all circumstances this person is like no this is it this is it i want you and um i said my word <laughs> I said what I said. Yeah, this is the energy I'm getting from them. Can you trust them? This is interesting because we've got the moon, the moon and sweetheart. What's this, what this person is not showing you is the depth of their emotions, the underneath the surface, underneath the logic and the incredible force and <clears throat> pressure. She's going to have a sip of my tea. <coughs> oh, I lost my voice completely. <coughs> What's, what this person is not showing you is with this moon card and sweetheart, the incredible depth and uh, overwhelming emotions that they're experiencing when they think of you, when they see you, it's like an obsession, but not in a, like a devil card way, you know, the devil in tarot, it's not uh, passionate and fiery as much, it's more emotional, they're completely, they're diving very deep when they're with you, like they're very much in their feelings and nobody has made them feel this way before. And I think that this is why they're holding on to you with this deathly grip. That you're not going anywhere, you're mine. <laughs> because of how much you touch them emotionally, how deeply they feel for you. You are their sweetheart, you are someone they have incredibly deep emotions for. They can't even put them into words because this moon energy, it's scary. Look at how dark this card is. But the moon is always about deep emotions deep attachments it's about unconscious like the way we get attached to our uh, primary caregivers our moms our dads and it's like you just love them and you can't do anything like you would die for them because you love them so much and this is i feel like how this person is feeling about you but they're not showing you that because the moon is always unconscious it's always something hidden it's it shines during the night They're only showing the surface, maybe in their emotions, and that's why you don't trust it. Maybe you don't get enough affection from them, although their actions and the things they say to you, this person has almost like claimed you. You are mine, you are going to be my wife or my husband, we are going to have a beautiful family, we are going to get married in summer and uh, all of that. But emotionally, maybe you don't get enough um, support for their words. But I feel like this is a confirmation for you that deep down you are the one for them because you move them in such incredible ways like no one else ever did before. I feel like they're dreaming of you, like they have dreams at night about you and um, they can't sleep at night thinking about you. Uh, yeah, very emotionally involved, very emotionally attached to you, this person is. Let's look at your oracle cards. Yes, that's what I was talking about a second ago. Anxiety, like can't, I can't sleep at night because I'm just so uh, focused on my interest, on my loved one, and I just, I keep thinking about them, I keep ruminating, I keep remembering all of the things I said wrong, I keep remembering all of the embarrassing moments. How could I even embarrass myself like that the other week, last week? This is what this person is going through. 
and maybe when they show up to you they're kind of awkward and unemotional although they they completely um, stated to you that they want you and they want a family with you and that's it but the, their energy is uh, awkward i feel like even though they're very forceful and very uh, they influence you a lot with this wheel of fortune and the moon it's two major arcanas like this is someone very energetic very moving um they don't go like unnoticed their energy is, is very strong but deep down inside of them they're just like crying over little things crying over maybe your baby pictures or there is a lot of love here there is a lot of attachment here wow and also spiritual bond between you is very strong your person is filling you with this third eye chakra they are constantly communicating with you telepathically sending you messages sending you feelings um you feel each other you feel when the other is m missing missing you very bonded and also we've got this card green man or synergy this is so interesting maybe this person really likes nature they like to uh, get lost maybe i'm getting this energy they like to get lost in nature maybe al they almost like a hermit they they like to go off and turn off their phone and um, just get distract themselves with whatever they do if they go to mountains if they go to rivers or maybe they go hiking and they don't uh, you don't hear from them it's just because of the anxiety that they feel and they need to eliminate it somehow they need to settle their deep intense emotions you see someone very emotional even if they don't show it to you they they are uh, they're like a walking emotion <laughs> feeling walking feeling let's get some messages from your person i feel like they need to speak we need to give them an opportunity to speak what would your person say to your party can you trust this person i feel like yes it's almost like they are more concerned with the fact that they should trust you or not in this connection. What would they say to you, Pile 3? What would this person say to you? I know it was a distraction from your pain. I almost feel as though this person uh, minimizes the the value of their presence in your life it's almost like they don't feel as though you need them like they are a fun times for you they're not they're not as important to you as you are to them and that's something that makes them deeply anxious and worried and sad and confused but they're not letting go I will wait for a sign from you. Yeah. They miss you. And uh, you are still someone so incredible and important for them. I lost myself for a while. If you haven't heard from this person, if they went into the uh, hermit mode, into nature, um, into the meditation state, or whatever they do, into silence, just being alone, uh, they're going to come back. They just needed it to settle their emotions. Let's get some messages about this connection now. What is the truth of this connection for you, Pathri? What should you know about this connection? Mm, we've got this card, friendship. This friendship is leading to more. <laughs> I feel like in your person's eyes this is no friendship <laughs> this is something much more with this wife and wedding and the wheel of fortune you are just like a gift from the above to them and they want everything with you not just friendship not just dating everything yeah abundance you've done the work abundance flows to you now Yes, 
you gave love, you gave affection, you opened your heart to this person. And I feel like now you are getting the rewards, now you are getting the, the feedback. You're getting some love. And uh, <laughs> who, who, who would be surprised? No surprise here. We've got this card, Fate. This is a destined partnership. Mm -hmm. And the most important card that, uh, that is in the spread is the one I opened with. And we opened with the Wheel of Fortune. This is also a card of destiny, of um, things that are given to us as a contract. This was supposed to happen. This is destiny bringing two people together. This is destiny giving you this gift, this opportunity, this love, this abundance. And this person almost like they felt it. They knew what is the purpose of them in your life. With this wife, the wedding, they're just like, yes, I knew this from the very start, from the very beginning. <laughs> yeah, very nice energy. And you can definitely trust this person, regardless of their emotional states. So this is all I had for you, Pile 3. I hope um, this helped you. I hope it gave you a little bit of clarity at least. And I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.